Well, former President Jacob Zuma has spent the better part of the past decade and a half, as well as his retirement, fighting off prosecution. For more on whether the president is testing the country's constitutional democracy, we're joined by United Democratic Movement leader Bandu Holomisa. Uh, Dr. Holomisa, good evening to you and, and thanks for your time. It's been quite uh, a busy weekend. Perhaps a good place to start would be just your own general reflections of where we are as a country right now, given the developments that we've seen unfold in Ngandla over the past weekend. Well, briefly, you will recall that uh, last week the Constitutional Court uh, did say a last word on this matter. And uh, the whole country was expecting that uh, that order would be carried out. But it turned out that there are legal eagles in this country who dig, who dug, who dig deeper to make sure that uh, the clauses of the Constitution uh, can no longer protect uh, former President uh, uh, Zuma. Credit to his lawyers because right now the Constitutional Court is ready to review or listen to, uh, to Solos' case once more. And that has been done because the legal eagles, in particular Dalimbo Fools, noted an angle which he can use. So let us therefore expect that the Constitutional Court would clear out any confusion when they sit on the 12th. In other words, why did they say he must go to jail yet and then again say we will listen to his case because the people always thought that uh, the, 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 the constitutional court decisions are not appealable or are not subject to review either. Looking at the country in general, I think the ANC is on trial on this case as well, especially the ruling party, the, the governing uh, members of the ANC. They have been allowing all these marches and gatherings and uh, using these gatherings uh, around Zuma's cases as a way of campaigning. They have been there in Devon in thousands. So I'm not surprised, therefore, that yesterday there were thousands at Inganda because the same faces <coughs> who have seen in the past, including their, their premier, were there. So what's the big deal? What we should be reminding the ANC is that Nkanda is a national key point. This is where the former head of state lives. And the security of Mr. Zuma depends on the government. For us to be told that he's guarded by these 19 year old so called uh, MK veterans, it's a laughing stock. It's laughable. We integrated the MK and other forces in 1994. You can't still be having an, a 38, 32 year old now, 19 year old now, calling himself or herself a, an MK veteran. So ANC must put their house in order. Otherwise, they are affecting the image or denting the image of, of South Africa. We are just becoming a laughing stock like a banana republic. So what we should be doing now is to wait for the courts in Marisbeck to pronounce their position 
and then we listen to the concord. In the event that the concord is not changing its stance, I would suggest that uh, President um, Zuma should accept that decision. And not even just to accept it, but also apologize to the country. Because he has put this country into dispute, dispute, disrepute, rather, sorry. So we need a little bit of discipline from the ANC. I think I must stop there. How and in what ways would you say he's put this country into disrepute, perhaps in your own words? The, he has allowed people to pronounce and uh, threaten violence and threaten war. People who, who come to, 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 to his place and people whom he, he rely on. The Mkondo SCs of veterans, for instance, the so-called MK veterans, have been camping in his house. He should be showing some leadership. It's interesting because last night when the former president was asked on that very matter, he said he's not in control of what those who support him do. So, therefore, he cannot tell them not to camp outside his household or even not to gather in the numbers that we have seen because he says they're entitled to do whatever it is that they feel they need to do uh, to voice and to show their anger. All right, my sister. Let's allow then the minister of police to take over, to take control of that place. Mm because this is a national key point. They protect, they must protect the president and his family. And anybody who wants to come there will come as, and on condition he's got the permission from the president. And then that permission must be relayed to the security at the gate. In the meantime, the police must come with the whole area. I mean, who is responsible, for instance, now for the shooting which was taking place there? People firing all over the place. Even to Duzana Zuma complained about it. This is where you are going to have agent provocateurs. And one day they will fight in that house, and then other people will be shot. Even the president, you cannot, you cannot say he would be uh, uh, safe. Take control of that place. Let Mshulos and his family and lawyers deal with the case, with, their, with his case. Mr. Holomisa, I'm going to draw on your knowledge also, just given the fact that you are a former uh, a general, and I mean, you don't lose the title. You're very much still General Holomisa. When it comes to security then, we've had the police minister saying, they were unable to do anything over this weekend because they had identified at least 100 people who were carrying firearms that were part of uh, the crowd that had gathered in Uganda. Is that a justifiable reason for police having been seen to be on the periphery and not really having a handle on, on the situation? Unfortunately, we we tend to put these ministers in the forefront in solving the problems of this country instead of leaving it to the experts and the DGs of different countries and CEOs of the SOEs. Every now and again, you see these, these uh, politicians trying to lecture us. What was uh, and what, what, what has happened in that situation, it's clear that they didn't have a plan. Because if they had a plan after the ANC members were threatening that they are going to uh, defend the President Zuma, they are going to fight in Masewuliwe and so on and so on, 
they should have uh, 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 